Hello everybody and we're here to talk to you today about the brass family of instruments and perhaps show you some that you're not so familiar with and what they sound like. So first of all we're going to start with the trumpets um, and we have a trumpet here. This is a standard trumpet that I'm sure you're probably familiar with. Sounds like this. <laughs> Now, very similar to the trumpet is the cornet. Oliver, if you can just hold that up. So the cornet, although it's smaller in length, it's actually exactly the same length as metal as a trumpet. So meaning that the pitch is the same. So a cornet sounds very similar like this. So uh, cornets generally used a lot in marching bands, in brass bands, in some wind bands. Trumpets in orchestras, in big bands, um, trumpets very flexible, can be in many different groups. So that are the trumpets. Now there's one that you might not have seen before, and this is the soprano cornet. So Oliver, can you hold that? So it's actually a little bit smaller than the cornet. And what that means is, is it makes a higher noise. It's pitched in E flat rather than B flat. And it sounds like this. So hopefully you can hear it's a slightly different pitch to the trumpet. Moving on to these instruments, the trombone section. Now we have two types to show you. We have a straight tenor trombone and we have this one, which is also a tenor trombone, but it's got a plug, which means it can play a little bit lower so it's not as low as a bass trombone it's sort of in between this and the bass trombone but it's still a tenor trombone so this is what this one sounds like and this one will sound similar, but although Jake is going to play a slightly lower piece, this is a little bit from The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Now, because it's got the plug, it can play a little bit lower. So although my most comfortable note is here, a low note for me. I can only officially play one more. Jake can carry on further down. And when you put them together, they sound like this. One, two, one. to the best instruments of the brass section and that's the tuba section. So uh, Jake has a normal E flat tuba here which is used in orchestras, wind bands, brass bands, um, is one that you'll probably see the most and he also has a B flat tuba which as you can see is even bigger and even lower and very heavy. So I'm sure you've heard them before but this is what a tuba sounds like. Thank you, Jake. Good. So, moving from that, so Jake, could you put that down, to the B flat. Now he has, Jake, could you hold up his stand to put this on because it's very, very heavy and he can't hold it. Here we go. So, as we said, it's a lot bigger. It can go a lot lower. Jake, could you play a bottom C? And we go down the scale. Go down the scale. Thank you, Jake. And it is used primarily in brass bands and it's used to do that sort of rumbling low notes that you've just heard. 
Now it can also play as a solo instrument as well though. So this is a little bit of rondo. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed learning about the brass instruments. We're now going to put them together in the final piece. Thank <laughs> you. 